Sasco. Share the goodness. This week I got a very desirable invitation to meet up with Nikki Booth. She's the owner and cook at Ottoma Chibo and we're in Cape Town to get a sneak peek behind the scenes of the workings in her kitchen. Let's go see. Hey Nikki, nice to see you. You too, come inside. Thank you. Thanks so much for inviting me over. Pleasure, come through. Thanks. Nikki, this is one large dining room table. How many guests can you seat here? This seats 24, and for our bigger functions, we add on to up to 46 and have lots of fun. I've noticed the fire is going as well, perfect for a day like today. Yes, we're going to have tea at the fireplace today, our special cake that we're baking, lemon and rosemary, and I'll show you in a few minutes how we're going to be doing that. I can't wait. Before we go to the kitchen, may I see your garden? Yes, sure, come outside. Nikki, I am blown away by your garden. It's magnificent. Now, I've noticed some fruit trees down at the bottom there. Now, we've got lots of fruit trees. It's a real working garden. We've got pomegranates, granadillas, avos. And today, for our little recipe, we're going to go and cut some lemons and some rosemary for our little cakes. OK, let's go. Today's recipe is inspired by Nikki's many trips to Italy. You may leave out the rosemary. Find the complete recipe on Espresso's website. Nikki, what ingredients do we need? Right, for our little rosemary cakes, we need almond and flour, some finely chopped rosemary, and grated lemon rind, olive oil, sugar, and four eggs. Okay, where do we start? Right, we're starting, we're going to break the eggs mm -hmm. into the sugar. Mm -hmm. Nikki, I noticed you put the eggs and the sugar and you're going to beat that together. Why is that? You have to beat these eggs and sugar for quite a while so they become light and you have the volume. And how long do you have to beat this for? For a few minutes. This is done, Liesl. Okay. Now we're going to add the almond and flour together and then all the other ingredients. Very easy. When you put the oil in, work around the edges. Is there a reason for that? If it all lands in the middle, you'll be mixing for ages. There we go. There we go. Everything else. And the rosemary. I'm loving the fact that I can smell the herbiness of the rosemary and that citrus flavour from the lemon. So now we're just going to mix it together and pop it into our little pans. Nikki, do we spray the pans before we put these in? No, we've got the papers and it's a non-stick pan. How long do we put these in the oven for? These are going into the oven for about 15 minutes at 180 degrees. Let's tidy up here before we go and finish setting up the table. While the ladies set the table, here's the Sasco flower tip of the day. Test an egg's freshness by placing it in a jug of water. If it sinks, it's fresh. Nikki, now that these are baked, what are we going to do with them? We're going to dust these and the rest are going to be iced. I'm going to put small violets on the top. These really look great. I think we need to take off our aprons because I think the guests are about to arrive. Great. Joining Nikki and Liesl are two Espresso viewers, Andrea McKinna and her grandmother, Moira Kruger. Nikki, thank you to you and your team for spoiling the three of us and having us here today. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Entertain your friends and family in style. Win a Sasco hamper, including a cookbook, apron, a takealot.com voucher, and great Sasco products. To enter, simply SMS the keyword Sasco, your name and city, to 33728, and you'll also receive this week's Sasco recipe. Sasco, share the goodness.